you. Hi Virgo, let's see what's the important message for you guys. Important messages for Virgo. All the I'm gonna do two part of the reading, the general and the love reading. The timestamp will be um in the comment down below. Okay, let's see important messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Not North. Important messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Not North. Thank you. Let's look at the past energy first. The past energy. Someone thinking a lot about you. I feel like there's a miss opportunity. Miss opportunity. Okay, this could be miss opportunity with you, or you miss some. You know, this doesn't always have to be about love. This is general, so it could be miss a job opportunity, or something to do with that. You know. Let cut, let's look at the past energy of yeah, the Empress. Interesting. I feel like sometimes when we're... We, I'm getting focused on your soul. What is it that feeding your soul? Right? Being grateful. Being, you know, attitude of gratitude. Okay? That's gonna help you realize and you embrace the Empress energy. The more you're grateful for, you know, you're going to have more things to be grateful for, right? But if you focus on things that we're lacking, then it's going to repeat it. So, let's see. So, I feel like you guys were um, working through your... Your... Um, how you look at life. How you... Yeah. And then we have... The eggs of wands and the page of wands. Interesting. There's something to do with back and forth, back and forth communication or... I feel, again, I'm getting missed opportunity. Or someone lost that to you as well, Virgo. I feel like someone felt like they were too good for it. And then you kind of... You really... You have this humble confidence about you. And I feel like people want to, to open up to you because, you know, you, you don't, you're not like, you are grateful. You know, people who like respect other people and appreciate other people, people want to work with that, you know. So I feel like um, there's some not nice people. There's an AAS, <laughs> not nice people. And then because you are, you were working with people that, they're like, wow, you really see the difference, you know, the way you carry yourself. And then people enjoy enjoy spending time with you, your wisdom, your humor. Um, the current energy we have, death card, which is transformation. So you're going through a lot of change. Um, Virgo, I feel there's something to do with death to the own you, some part of you that, you know, you let it, it die so you can give birth to a new new life, new new opportunity, new ideas. Stepping into something, stepping into to the next state of your life. And then we have the three of pentacle. So I feel like either people looking up to you, you know, they're seeing, but I feel like people really see how much effort you put in into whatever you're doing. Okay, it could, for example, work, right? I feel like you put a lot of effort into something and people see it. People watching and they're observing. And you remember, actions speak louder than word. As long as you are in alignment with, it's not about like oh work hard, work hard. It's all the time. It's about taking an aligned action, like action that align with you, right? So I feel like you really put an effort into that, and it's it's gonna pay this time. It's gonna you're gonna see the result of it. Yep, I feel like. Okay, so I see three card here. What's going on here? Yeah, I feel I see the um. This is the five of cup and a two of pentacle. Uh, and f five of cup and five of pentacle. I feel like when you see double five, it's mean double the energy, double the effort. You have done a lot. You have put a lot of effort into something. Again, it's good to work on yourself or on a connection. Okay, and you learn a lot from that. And I feel like eggs of sword you. You seeing um the truth of the situation. Yep, 
you cut you cut right through BS that you can see you can see when people are lying. That's what I'm getting. Because I feel like it could be at work, you know, people some people being like kind of like sneaky and all that stuff. But you like you just put the thing is. You respect people that are putting the effort and you know work work for it, right? But but people who like, um, I just I'm just getting that people who not um put in effort or being, like they either lied or they cheat or something. It's, they're tasting their own medicine. I see that someone getting you. You're gonna see the justice happening in front of you. Honestly, just keep putting effort. Keep doing you you know be be professional um know your core value because i feel like it's even if it related to people around you it doesn't have to all be work but if it related to people around you know who you are know your core values know your boundaries and people who not um live from you know from the truth right if they if they're like they not speak their truth they not live their truth they not have that core values then it's all gonna it things are crumbling down for them, and that's what I'm getting. And it's all like that's the thing. When we realize that whatever you give out, get back. You know, if you cheat or if you lie or if you take advantage of other people, then it's coming back to you, right? You know what I mean? So I feel like you just you don't have to do anything. You are in a much better. You are in a higher vibration. I feel so. So some people that are try to take advantage and and. Either they get inspired by you or they get triggered. But either way, they are people are. You will feel the energy shift, and people that no long no longer resonate with you, that are not good for your soul. That they're not really you know like deep down like okay this person have good intention for me. I definitely feel like they will. You will feel further further apart from them. Either they lose a job, they get fired. Or they move from to different city. You know, it's kind of like even like for example, if you have a neighbor who like not nice to you, they will move away. Like something will happen. Divide intervention. That's what I'm getting. So you have more space for new people, people who get good feeling for you. That's what that's what I'm getting. Let's see, upcoming energy for Virgo. That's really good though. Upcoming energy for Virgo. We have a lot of card here, but you know what? We're gonna take it. So we have, what do we have here? Eight of Pentacle, Six of Cup. Yeah, just keep doing you. Hard work paying off. Anything that you put your effort into, you manifest that. And then we have, you, you're going to have option. I feel you're going to have option to, yeah, again, new opportunity, new opportunity. I keep getting that. Because when you know people, when you keep, when you try your best and people watching you, then people recognize you. So you're gonna have, you know, people right re recommend you, maybe re recommend your work work to other people, you know. And the star, yeah, gaining fame, wish fulfillment, healing, have fate. As long as you keep moving forward, the star will align for you. That's so beautiful. Yeah, look. Virgo, that's only one you and people are fighting to be where you are. They're fighting for your sport. Remember, jealousy. People who throw jealousy because they're not your in your shoes. People not gonna get jealous when they're realizing that wow, you put a lot of effort, you work hard for it. You know, so be so busy that you don't hear those noises. Right? And that's why you're gonna attract the people who like similar to you. They just support you. Feel good people attract feel good people, right? And then we have, yep, this is abundance. I do see that. This is earth energy, represent your energy as well. Really beautiful. Anything that you work hard for, you're going to see a result of it. Either you change job, or but I, I'm just getting the opportunity to move up. Okay, that is so beautiful, Virgo. I'm so happy for you guys. Let's see. Let's see the important messages for our beautiful Virgo. We're gonna look at your love life. Okay. Let's 
see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and not Node in terms of love. What's going on with Virgo? Let's look at your past energy first, okay? Past energy for Virgo in terms of love. Now, Cup, being in your, feeling good in your own skin, working toward, you know, being okay with or without anyone, right? Self, self love, I do see, focusing on self love. Let's look at more. Self-care, I feel, is more to do with okay, yeah. And we have... The, wow, beautiful. Nile Pentacle, Nile Cup. Nine, nine. Repeated number, high vibration. You know what? You, do you make me realize sometimes when we are single, life being, becomes so much lighter and happier, isn't it? For a lot of people. Because when we are connecting with people who have a lot of heavy karmic energy it's not fun to go through that so you were doing well in the past nine nine of cup nine of pentacle being independent looking good again i got this from astro queen looking good smelling good for virgo virgo delicious <laughs> i like her love her energy let's see let's clarify the past energy for you guys you are really being really people admire you admire your energy they just look at you like whoa that is beautiful very attractive energy and then we have the lover and seven cup yep you had a lot of option seven of cup a lot of option to choose but you don't have to choose anyone you can just do you you know when your time is right you feel i feel like when your time is right you go choose someone to commit or i feel like you will get to the point like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I want to share my moment with someone. But so sometimes we can be we can be so independent and we really enjoy our own company. You know when, you, when you're ready, when you so enjoy your own company, but you also, you, you want, you choose someone out of like, not because you lack, because you choose to be with someone. You choose to see someone, to get to know someone, to go on a date, you know. Let's see current energy for our beautiful Virgo. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Yeah, you are beautiful. I love this black. Um, I think it's all black tarot, if I'm not mistaken. Forgot again. Oh, this is my favorite. Beautiful. Um, I feel like you guys are just really focusing on building your pentacle, have a stable um foundation for yourself so you can support yourself the queen of swords is like you're seeing right through people bs the same 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 as general reading um you're not gonna let anyone who doesn't have good feeling good energy or they don't they're not really honest if you pick up like a negative energy from someone this doesn't feel right then you're not gonna you're not gonna waste your energy with it page of pentacle this is going into the unknown, taking the leap. That's what I'm getting from here. Um, but let's see. Let's clarify the current energy for you guys. I'm just getting for some Virgo. Some people are being... The person... It could be people that you're talking to, but someone... Oh, you're not even talking to someone, right? But someone is being really sensitive. Okay, so try to be a little bit easier on them because i feel like someone is it's a little bit sensitive okay oh six of cup you're connecting with someone that have a past life connection or you felt like you know them or someone coming back to you six of cup and then we have the magician and the eggs of pentacle so yeah you you are keeping 
there's some <laughs> I'm just getting that you guys are really have a really strong um strong energy like in term of like I said before being independent, doing your own thing, minding your own business, but then you can't stop what is meant to happen. So sometimes divine will bring you someone. It could be a past life connection, someone that you know for a long time ago or Whoever it is, is you feel the in you can feel the psychic connection with this person, um, and I feel like it's something that you you ask for. It's like for example, if maybe two three years ago you're like, oh, I want to meet someone cool, you know, someone who like have a similar taste, whatever, and then the universe will bang like being you like it's not in your timing, it's in divine timing, so. Let's see, upcoming, oh, not upcoming. What are they feeling toward you? Oh. Oh, what is this? We have the seven of sword, the moon, and the two of pentacle. They're keeping a lot of things from you. This person, look, is waiting them down. The moon card is, they, they keep their feeling hidden from you. Okay, I feel like someone sensitive again, sensitive, they're worried that if you know, I feel like someone feel like they have a past that that were not they were not proud of, and I feel like if you know they're scared that it you will you will not accept them or they're scared that it will ruin the connection, okay. Yeah, the Ace of Wands and the, the King of Wands. Oh, this person passionately, passionately have so much passion toward you, right? Because the one energy. There's like... It's like, what is the song? Is the Sapphire in your heart? Mm -mm 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 -mm. By Edo, I think. Um, Set fire to the rain. That's a mis music that come up for me. But I feel like... They're a little bit worried though because I think I just get I'm just getting someone worried about the past haunting them. It's kind of holding back a little bit. I feel they feel like they have to keep worrying about it, you know, and have to keep the secret. This have to do it could be because of your ex, because of their ex, or because of their past um action that they did um. But this, they're watching you. I'm just, I'm seeing that they're watching you for real. Let's see, important messages for our beautiful Virgo. Let's see. We have, oh, so cute. Something to do with gossip, right? So this is talk about be mindful of people that you talk to. If they gossip, if they talk behind someone else back in front of you, then chances are they're talking be high they're talking about you to someone else as well so you know be mindful of the company that you keep or the information that you let out um i'm just getting that um they're saying like don't make an assumption because it's not life is not black or white it's gray area so i feel like especially if this person keeping something from you try not to assume the worst and you know maybe have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or just you know, because I feel like that's something that they're keeping because they don't want to ruin a connection. That's what I'm getting from here. So it could be anything, really. Maybe they've done something in the past, you know, that involve, involve police or I don't know, whatever that is. Okay? Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for your love and support. I'll talk to you soon. Love and light. Bye.